Hello and welcome. This is my 99 one at a time Iron Man series where I will attempt to max an Iron Man account one skill at a time. The rules are simple. I can only level one skill at a time. I can only move on to a new skill once I've achieved 99 in the previous skill. And because it's Iron Man mode, I will be gathering, making, killing everything I need with these very hands. I just want to shout out to Shayno, the original 99 one at a time creator because yes this idea is based on his series but because it's Iron Man mode I'm gonna be taking a little bit of a different road this will be my first Iron Man so bear with me if you think I'm doing anything wrong I'm learning as I go along for the first 99 it seems pretty logical to get 99 agility because all I have to do is run so without further ado let's get straight into the first episode where I'm basically going to just run for about 30 days straight. Well, that's that idea down the drain. What I'm going to do now is take a boat to Karamja and then I'm going to walk to Brimhaven and then I'm going to get the boat to Ardoin. I probably should have done this in the first place, but I thought I'd just risk it a little bit and try and get past the wolves. Only problem is I need 60 GP and I've only got 25 GP. So I'm going to do Ernest Chicken and that will give me a reward of 300 GP so I can get the boat to Karamja. I could also do the Security of Stronghold to get the free 10k coins when you complete it, but I think it will be a little bit quicker doing Ernest Chicken. Let's see if I cannot die doing Ernest Chicken. Yeah. Upgrades. There we go, Ernest Chicken completed. Now I can finally get the boat to Ardoin and we can finally start doing our agility grind. Yes, baby. There it is. Completed. <laughs> Getting to our dying without dying. Nice. Okay, we made it. So the plan is to get level 10 agility here, and then I'm just gonna go up the ranks in terms of agility courses. So I'm gonna do Draenor next, and then Farrok. Unfortunately, I can't do the Canifis course because this is locked behind the Priest in Peril quest which gives me prayer XP, so I probably can't do that quest for a long time. In fact, just thinking about it now, I won't be able to get any Barrows pieces until I get a lot of 99s and until I start my prayer grind, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So yeah, I'm just going to do each course, and when I unlock the next course, I'm going to go to that one. There we go, level 10 agility. That didn't take very long at all. My run didn't even fully recharge, so that's how long it took. So now I'm gonna home teleport and make my way to Draenor Village. Right, we're here at Draenor. Let's get jiggy with it. Just whilst we're doing the Draenor course, I'm going to explain some of the goals I've got on this account because they are pretty crazy and I must be pretty crazy to try and do them. So after agility, I'm probably going to go to mining because I need to mine and then 
I need to smith cannonballs to get my range up so I can start doing combat. I need to get from 1 to 99 range just using a cannon, so I've worked out I'm going to need at least 600,000 cannonballs. That means I'm going to need 150,000 steel bars, which means I'm going to need to mine 150,000 iron and somehow get 150,000 coal as well. These are just some of the goals that I need to do on this account. Probably not even the hardest ones I'll have to do, but I'm already excited for this account, so let's get back to agility until we are 99. There we go, there is 20 agility. I can now move on to the Al Qarid agility course, which I'm going to do next until I get 30 agility. Not much to say here, um, apart from the fact that Alcarid course is very boring and it doesn't seem like you get much more experience than Draenor course. But there we have it, we've got 30 agility. That took quite a while, but now we can move on to the Varrock course and get a lot more experience per hour. There it is, the beautiful agility pyramid. This is a great way to get some early game cash on an Iron Man because you can trade in the pyramid tops for 10k. I've waited until I'm 40 agility for this because I don't want to fail many obstacles and I'm not sure if the pyramid can one shot me because I've only got 10 HP but I guess we'll find out. Yeah, the pyramid can hit you for 10. Like an idiot, I had all my cash on me, so I'm going to have to sell something in my bank to get enough money to get a pass, but this is what I mean by me learning as I'm going. Okay, we got our pyramid top back. I'm just going to exchange this for 10k, and then I'm going to bank that 10k like any normal person would, just in case I die again. And then I'm probably just going to do this until I die again and see how much money we get. Okay, so we got two pyramid tops as well as the first one, so that's 30k cash. That's pretty good for the aims I've got so far. I don't think I'll need much more than that. I've had a quick look on a wiki and it says that once you're 70 agility, you only fail the jump gaps which hit you for eight. So I can survive the pyramid once I'm 70 agility. Also conveniently, when I get to 70 agility, I will be able to do the Poln of Nietzsche course, which is just down the road. There you have it, 50 agility. We can now use the Falador course. I think there is a bit of an XP boost with Falador, so I'm going to get my ass over there and start running some laps. Right, we are here at Falador. I'm going to be here until 60 agility, so I'm going to be here for quite a while, but I'm just going to explain what quests I can do at the moment. There's not many that I can actually do because of quite a few restrictions. The first restriction is that the quest cannot give me any XP reward in anything that's not agility. I can't attack anything on the quest and also I can't make anything or craft anything that I need for the quest if it will give me a level. So the short list I've got are the following quests. Romeo and Juliet, Rue Mysteries, X marks the spot, I can do the Client of Karen quest. You get a XP lamp for that. I'm just going to use it in Agility. And I will also use the certificate in Piscarilius because that is the one that's the biggest pain to get done. I can also do Prince Ali Rescue because I can buy all the stuff for it. I can do Pirate's Treasure because I can run away from the Gardener that attacks you. And I can also do Sheep Herder and Clock Tower. And then I can finally do the Grimhand's Bar Crawl because none of these quests will give me any experience. And I won't gain any experience that's not agility whilst I'm doing them. So yeah, we're here until 60 agility and then we can move on to Sears Village, which is a nice XP boost. Why are you doing this? I just felt like running. There we have it, finally. 60 agility, we can now go to the Sears Village course, which is pretty much double the experience I'm getting 
at the moment and we are going to be there until 70 agility so what i'm going to do is knock out the quests that are in this area and then make my way over to sears village until 70 agility There we have it, 70 agility. We can finally start making some money on the account. So the place I'm going to do next is the pyramid. Hopefully I don't die. What I'm gonna do now is just get the rest of Graceful and I'm just gonna check the laps and how much XP we've got. So there it is, the beautiful full Graceful. In total, we've got 328 marks of Grace and I'll just have a quick look at the laps. And in total for this episode, we've got 700 and 38k agility xp but i think about 300k of that was getting about 20k xp an hour so it's going to go up a lot quicker next episode i'm going to end this episode here if you made it this far in the video then thank you a like would be a massive help for me subscribe if you want to see more next episode i'm hoping to get to at least 90 agility to unlock the r doing course and as always thank you for watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next episode